Au revoir. joining me this week's feature lesson we got a bluegrass standard here roll on buddy in the key of G all right and as you just saw and heard I created I would call an advanced beginner arrangement and then of course a more advanced just advanced arrangement there so two arrangements for this tune and you can use that capo to you know we're playing out a G position but you can use that capo to you know go all the way up to the key of B like old Del McCurry does or any key that fits your vocal okay but we're gonna be working on a G position and get into some nice bluegrass licks here, especially in the advanced arrangement. So we're gonna be playing the melody for both of the arrangements, you know, the beginning one, um, just, you know, less pull-offs and hammer-ons, and we're gonna play that melody, and just do a little bit of flat picking runs here and there. And then, of course, the advanced, we are going to do lots of syncopation, hammer-ons and slides and pull-offs and stuff like that to give it that bluegrass guitar sound you might be looking for, okay? So if you'd like to purchase the full-length version, you just click the link down there below and it will shoot you on my site. And there you can do so. It'll come with about 35 minutes of video, PDF tabs, and four audio backing tracks to help you work your speeds up, okay? And if you really like the way I teach and approach learning, you can learn about being a member at my site. There should be another link down there. But for a yearly or monthly fee, access this lesson and over 350 full-length videos, okay? I've got three courses over there and a video exchange program where you can submit videos to me. All right, I do a ton of lessons in this bluegrass, old-time country style. So yeah, I've got tons of standards, got tons of fiddle tunes, Carter style stuff. So give it a look if you're interested, if you feel like I might be a good fit for you. For now, we're going to start walking through the first few measures of the beginning arrangement for Roll On Buddy in the key of G. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy. All right, so let's go ahead and start walking through Roll On Buddy here, the beginning arrangement in the key of G. Uh, remember, the markings on the bottom of the staff are your pick directions, so the staples are down and the Vs are up. Pay close attention to that as always. As that's very important to pulling off these arrangements here in bluegrass. So I'm going to play the first few measures for you, and then we'll break them on down really slow. So here's those first fours. One, two, three, four, one. <laughs> what's going on there so I've got to pick up on beat two so that first little marking there um, and the first measure is a quarter note rest so one count so it starts on beat two and it's just three quarter notes on the D string okay, so open open second fret and they're quarter notes so they're down strokes again um, down strokes on down beats up strokes on up beats rule of thumb um, yeah, the downbeats are one, two, three, four. The upbeats are what's in between the ands. So, so yeah, three quarter notes. And then the second measure, open G, and then a fifth fret G, a fifth fret D string. It's also a G note. So this is a really common little move, a little drone effect here, and you hear it all the time on the fiddle. And you don't have to slide into it. And also beginning arrangement. That's kind of more of an advanced beginner arrangement, I would say. So, one, two. I slid into the fifth fret on the D. So you can start on the third fret. And it's a quick slide. One, two. Or if it's, you know, having trouble, you're having troubles, just... You can skip the slide and add it later when you're more comfortable with the arrangement. And then it's open G, fifth fret D again, open G. And then this last time, open D on an upstroke so we can get ready 
actually do our double stops. So that measure exactly. double stops here. Third fret B, fourth fret G. Double stop just means playing two notes at the same time. And this is a really common uh, double stop here in bluegrass or acoustic guitar music. So I'm going to strum those two together. So it's one, two, and three. And then I'm going to ship them all down to one and two. Okay. So quarter, two eighth notes, quarter, As you probably hear on the practice tracks, um, I'm sliding into that the double stop a lot of the time. All right, and that gives it a little bit, you know, a little bit of expressiveness, a little attitude perhaps. But yeah, um, it's nice, right? It's, it just gives it a little bit more. And if that you have troubles with that, then just take it out and just just you know, it totally can work. And then the next measure is pretty simple. You just open G, and then you're gonna strum a G chord, open D, and strum. So that's what measure four there is kind of just like an alternate bass drumming pattern, but we're starting on the open G. As marked there, you know, I'm strumming the highest sounding three strings. Not across my whole guitar or anything like that. All right, so those first four measures, they sound like this all together in context. One, two, three, four, one. take a little time again if you're beginner beginner and you're new to these double stops to get those double stops to sound kind of nice and equal and fat and you know, there's nothing blaring one of the strings isn't louder than the other um, it just sounds equal and, and uh, I guess just nice right the tone is nice and so sometimes it just takes a little while to get used to just only playing two strings right and then you kind of like plucking and then you kind of like strumming just those two strings. So on the upstroke could be even more difficult, right? Um, that's what I notice for beginners. And if you hit like the open D or some other strings, it's probably not the end of the world. But yeah, we want to bring, but we just want those two. All right, last time. One, two, three, four, one. on to the next few measures. Nope. So, yeah, I played that measure seven there, just a touch wrong. But let's walk through it now. So measure five, we're still on the G, and we're gonna play that open G note. We're gonna strum. And then we got a zero two hammer on the G. And then a quarter note on the open B string. So. Ready, go. And then we gonna get to C. So finger your C chord. And then we're gonna pluck the B string, first fret, which you're already there. Strum. And then two more quarter notes on that B string. Okay, so pretty easy measure there, measure six. measure we have a one three hammer on on the B string to start it you can use two fingers here but I'm gonna choose to use my pinky most of the time um, 
So we're gonna one three hammer and then a strum, which might sound a little dissonant to you. And then a one three hammer again and back to the first fret on the B. So that measure exactly. Three, go. One. Now you could use your third finger. I noticed I kept muting more strings using my third finger because it was a little bigger. Pinky is skinnier and I and it's strong and I feel confident with it, so it was almost easier I felt because it's just hovering right above there. And I got a cleaner note and cleaner strum by the whole thing. Okay? So those three measures. Two, ready, go. Seven measures from the beginning. One, two, three, four, one. All right, there it is. So let's move on to the next few measures. 